Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to. Is it afternoon? Yes, yeah, afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to a wet Wales, um, where I just thought I would really quickly um, just fire up the 85cc um, DCS 6400. So as you can see, I've put a bar on it. This really nice 28-inch Husky light bar. Uh, we've got the plastics on. Did all the little bits that needed doing. Found some bolts for the exhaust. A couple of little bits. I have run it up. Um, but it's stone cold now, so I thought I would, not sure if I'm in shot, sorry. Um, yeah, it's stone cold, so we'll get a really good cold start now. I'm not wearing the best chainsawing gear, um, so I'm going to go very easy, very careful, and just do a couple of cuts for you, just so you can see how she runs. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get it started. Lots of compression in this one, so I'm going to play it safe and just start it on the floor in the official manner. So burp after three. Go too crazy, guys. Obviously, I've only really got shorts on. I'm trying not to be too silly uh, and just let it warm up a little bit. I have let it idle for five, ten minutes and restarted it a few times. Yeah, just want to get some cuts for you, really. Nothing too crazy. Um, don't scream at me too much for not having um, trousers on. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that's the first cut with this really. That's a 28 inch Husky light bar. I think this is either a brand new Still RS chain or a brand new, I think it's an Oregon actually. It's the brand new Oregon 73 LPX. So I always feel the rakers are a bit high on these to start with so they don't cut amazingly so don't judge me too much but literally I'm just breaking this in I'm just blipping the throttle I don't want to hold it wide open just get some cuts I just wanted to get some first cuts for you on camera just to show you she runs 
Um, I'll do a little bit more running in with this saw now. This is still on the stone stock exhaust. I haven't opened the exhaust up at all. So I really want to do that when I've got a tank or two on it. I'll open the exhaust up. Um, and then hopefully when we get some more weather better for cutting, uh, I can take it out and get, get it into some bigger wood. Um, but so far, really enjoying the feel of this saw actually. It feels, feels lighter than my 7900, which is weird. Uh, maybe I'll weigh them and compare them. Maybe the exhausts are different or something. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, feels really good, feels powerful, feels just initially, feels very similar to a 7900, which is what you'd expect, really. Um, a lot of people who've done these big bores say, you know, the OE cylinder is very good, um, but obviously this cylinder kit is about £150, and if you can find one, a 7900 piston and cylinder is about £300. So half the price, same performance, so pretty happy with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, keep watching thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed this maybe you've got a blown up 6400 that you're going to convert uh let me know in the comments uh yeah hopefully some axe content soon as well i've got lots of axe stuff to show you um but yeah thanks for watching have a great bank holiday weekend and next bank holiday weekend and the other bank holiday weekend so lots of holidays coming up i hope you enjoy them all and get some cutting in cheers